Hello traders, Steve here again from Option Alpha and I wanted to quickly put together a video to update all of you on the trade of the day Disney Iron Condor that we entered a few days ago. So I'm actually in here shortly after the market closed Thursday afternoon and as we can see the market had a pretty strong update on the heels of the Fed yesterday and some earnings coming through. So it seems like pretty much everything across the board uh, was up pretty good today including Disney, the underlying ticker of that iron condor reopened. So what I did shortly before the market closed, uh, I actually went in and managed the position. And I want to show you how I did that, what I did, and some of my thought process behind that. So let's jump into the position. Okay, so here we are in that live trade of the day bot that we created um, last week. And we can see here what I actually did was I came in here and I closed out that iron condor. And the reason being is... Disney had gone way up. It was actually well beyond not only the short call strike, but the long call strike. It was over a dollar above the long strike of 82. And so with tomorrow being expiration, not very much time left in the trade. And for the most part, all of the extrinsic value had been pulled out of that short strike. I didn't really want to hold the position overnight. I thought there was a decent chance of assignment and it just really wasn't worth it to me. It would take a pretty big move for the stock to come back under my short strike or even inside of the long strike to avoid that max loss. I was able to close the trade just under a max loss. And so I figured I would show you how I went ahead and did that inside of Option Alpha. The original Disney Iron Condor that we had, when I was looking at the trade, these short put strikes here, right, the 76 put and the 77 put were both so far out of the money that there was zero bid really. So meaning there wasn't really any sort of market activity in those strike prices. So I assumed, and we've seen this a lot, is that it's difficult to close that portion of a four-legged trade like an iron condor. So what I did is I actually came in here and I just overrode the position. And that removed the position from the bot and allowed me to then take my next step, which was to come over here and just import back the short call spread of that iron condor, right? And my reason thinking was I could import that back in and just go ahead and close the short call spread. And then I'm gonna walk you through what I'm gonna do next to keep track of all of my position data. So once I imported that position, which is very easy, inside of your bot, you can just click the import button and bring in um, the spreads or the full iron condor or however you wanna manage the position. I just wanted to close out the short call spread knowing that the short put spread will almost certainly expire worthless tomorrow. So I imported that Disney short call spread back in and I went ahead and manually closed it. As you can see, I was able to close the spread for $95, which was just short of the you know $100 max loss since it was a $1 wide spread. I was happy to do that, that's okay. I sort of accepted that we had got to that point, so it is what it is. So now that I closed out that trade, I wanna come back in and actually edit this trade out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to override. And that's just going to remove it from the bot, remove all of that position history from the bot as well. And I'm going to come down here and update that original iron condo because I want to come back and be able to track how my positions are doing and do that accurately. So even though I removed that short put spread, I can come in here and update the iron condor and change that back from when I overrode it earlier and put it in here as close. And I can put in that closing price, which was 95 cents per contract. So if I save that, you'll see it went ahead and updated everything in that original position for me, right? I had a credit of $45 to open the trade. My max risk was $55. And since I closed it for 95, that difference between the credit and the debit was $50, which leaves me with a closed realized loss of $50, which again is just shy of that max loss of $55. So I'm okay with that, right? As we discussed last week when I opened the trade, I knew getting into it that I wanted to keep my position sizing small, right? And why is that? Because I want to be able to take a lot of trades, high probability setups, knowing that I'm not going to win every single trade. So I need to go into the trade feeling comfortable that if this situation comes about, I'm willing to take that max loss. I'm not going to panic. It's not too big of a loss for me that I can't recover from, right? It's a way for me to stack multiple positions over and over and over and over again, right? Which is part of why I want to share this journey with you. So 
that's okay. I'm going to accept this loss. It's a small loss in the big scheme of things. The probabilities were there when we opened the trade, right? We had good probabilities. We had positive expected value. And that's okay. As a trader, all we can do is make informed decisions with the data that we have at hand. So I was happy to make that trade, and I'm more than okay with taking the outcome of the trade. So what I want to do in the future videos is actually kind of dig into that thought process a little bit more. I'm going to share with you my journey with auto trading, specifically as I migrated to automating those trade ideas, right? Because again, the key to me is to be able to consistently enter those high probability positive expected. And the more I can do that, the better off I feel like I'm going to be in the long run. So I'm going to show you kind of how I got to that point what I've taken from other community members, what I've learned from all of the other traders inside of Option Alpha, and how I built that into a couple of live trade idea bots that I have going. So I really look forward to sharing that with you. Be sure to check back. We're going to be posting those videos next week. Be sure you're keeping up with Jack and Kirk, who are sharing all of their journeys as well. Uh, have a great rest of the day. Happy trading. I will see you all soon.